You shouldn't you jump mean? on the bed. You could get hurt. Staying in a hotel is a lot more fun when we're safety smart about it. Speak a wise one. If someone knocks on the door, always make sure you know who it is before opening it. Either by looking through the peephole or asking who's there. All good ideas. Now let's go hit the park. Hold on a second. Do you know what to do in case of an emergency? Yeah. Run for our lives! No! We have to stay calm and follow the instructions posted on the door. If you hear or see an alarm, quickly head to the nearest exit and leave all your personal belongings behind. Everything? Everything! Your safety is much more important than anything you might have brought with you. Now can we please go? Let's have a great safety smart stay and maybe we'll see everyone around the box. Safety spot, no doubt about it. Safety spot, can't do without it. It's really so important that you always have to shout it. You gotta get safety spot. Oh, yeah! You gotta get safety spot. That means you. You gotta get safety. Gotta get safety. Gotta, gotta get, get safety, safety spot. Oh, yeah! Need the keys. Got the invitation. Lights out. Who's a gorgeous warthog? You are. Look at you. Pumba, we have to go. I don't want to be late. You've been staring at yourself for hours. Trust me, it's not going to get any better. Try to relax, Timon. The ceremony to present the new king is at noon. You know it's going to be a jungle out there. Oh, it's always a jungle out there, but we need to take our time. It's not just about where we're going. It's also about how we get there. Oh, come on. If we don't leave now, we're never gonna get to Pride Rock. Traveling can be very exciting, Timon. But we have to remember to be safety smart. That's why I brought along our safety smart compass. Please, I already have a compass. My compass is a very special one, Timon. It's going to show us the four safety smart points of safe travel. And our very first point is to slow down. If we're rushing, that can lead to an accident. And accidents are not part of our problem-free philosophy. That's great, pal. But now we have to go. Oh. Yikes! Oh. And that, my friend, leads us right to our second safety spot point. Pay attention. Something you especially need to do as a pedestrian. I'm not a pedestrian. I'm 100% meerkat. No, Timon. A pedestrian is a word that describes someone who travels by walking. And paying attention means looking both ways before crossing the street. If possible, we should always cross the street at a corner in the crosswalk. And to make sure that cars can see you, never cross at a bend in the road. Never, never, never cross between parked vehicles. Young children should always cross the street with an adult or a crossing guard. Grown-ups can help make crossing safer, and they're generally bigger, which makes them easier for vehicles to see. Okay, all clear. Now I'll just grab us a cab and we'll scoot down to Pride Rock in no time. Oh, there's an empty taxi. Pumba, hurry. Taxi. And remember, slow down and pay attention. Pride Rock, please. Seatbelt, Timon. Yeah, what about it, pal? You need to put it on. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm fine. Well, you would be, had you followed our compass's third safety smart point, use proper equipment. In a car, proper equipment means to always fasten your seatbelt. Timon, come on, we're moving. Are you ready? Got it. Oh, boy, we're never going to get... 
get there at this rate. If only we could fly. Oh, but we can, my safety smart friend. In that. Uh, excuse me. Can you take us? Very good, Timon. Even on an airplane, we need to use proper equipment. Oh, but remember safety smart point number two. We have to pay attention. On an airplane, it's important to always listen carefully to what the captain or flight attendants have to say, which leads us to our fourth safety smart compass point, and that's don't distract. Don't distract? What does that mean? You know, don't be a bother, a nuisance, or annoying. When someone is giving you important safety instructions or operating a vehicle, we never want to do anything to interfere with that. In a car or a bus, there's lots of things that can distract the driver, like if you're fighting or arguing, misbehaving or playing loud music, and sometimes we even distract ourselves. Even when walking, we can be distracted. Uh, yeah, I got it. Hey, you know what, Pumba? I think I'll just sit quietly and enjoy the view. That's a good idea, Timon. Huh. Must be taking the scenic route. Wait a minute. In fact, we got a 71 Impala in the back there. Aw, look. Timon, you asked if he could take us. You never said where. I know what I said, but how are we going to get out of here? Oh, great, a map! Thank you! All right, Pumba. If we take the train to the boat and the boat to the bus, we should still get to Pride Rock for the ceremony. Huh? Good? Huh? But how do we get to the train? On those! Come on! Bumba, hurry! No, Timon. We can't leave until you use the proper equipment. That means a helmet. When riding a bicycle, scooter, or skateboard, always use a helmet with the strap securely fastened. A helmet can protect your head and your brain. And you only get one head and brain. It's also a good idea to wear protective padding, brightly colored clothing to help others see you. And when you're on a bike or motor scooter, pay attention to all traffic signs and signals, just like if you were in a car. All right, check and check. Let's go. We have a long way ahead of us. <laughs> Pedal faster, come on. Uh, sheesh, what happened to slow down? Woo! Do I still look okay for the ceremony? Uh, you might want to do a slight touch-up when we get there. Oh, here comes the train! Now remember, there are safety smart points for traveling by train or subway, too. So what are we gonna do? First of all, we're gonna pay attention. Very good, Timon. And that means as the train approaches, pay attention and make sure to stand far away from the platform's edge and clear of the track. Come on, Papa, hurry! And slow down. That means wait for those who are on the train to get off before you try to get on. Great. Now you tell me. <laughs> I still don't understand why we have to wear these. Because, Timon, we have to use proper equipment, remember? On smaller boats, we have to wear our life jackets. They're like water wings and will keep us afloat if we fall in. And on larger boats, life jackets are already on board. Aha! So if we're not going on the ferry, what are we taking? I thought we needed something a little faster. <laughs> You talking, pal? Oh, there's the bus to Pride Rock. And I remember, 
slow down. That's right. It's not safety smart to chase after a bus. Or cross in front or behind one. Let's see if we can find a seat. If we can't, it's a good idea to hold on tightly to a safety rail. Hey, Timon, a seat just opened up next to me. Gee, I wonder why. We're getting close now. Can you see, Fried Rock? <laughs> there it is, Pumpa. Hey, isn't that our mailbox, Timon? So, you had us take the taxi, the plane, the bikes, the train, the boat. The bus! We went all the way around the world! And meanwhile, we live so close, we could have walked! Ah, uh, oops. Uh, okay, okay. Don't get yourself wound up, all right? You need to relax a little. Hey, how about a song, right? Huh? You know, about travel safety. Ah, uh, you know my soft spot, Timon. <laughs> Bomba, you are a soft spot. Hit it! Slow down. Pay attention. Use proper equipment. Don't distract. Follow these points that we mentioned. You're safety smart, and that's a fact. Slow down. Pay attention. Use proper equipment. Don't distract. In a car or a bus. All latest invention. Safety smart is how you should act. Taking your time is sweet. Look before crossing the street. Put on a helmet and wear a life vest. Give that annoying behavior a rest. Slow down. Pay attention. Use proper equipment. Don't distract. Follow these points that we mentioned. You get where you're going with we're intact. Everyone take it from me. And me. Mind every sign that you see. That's right. Yellow and orange look good on you. Fasten your strap and enjoy the view. Slow down, pay attention. Use proper equipment, don't distract. Follow these points that we mentioned. Your safety smart. Really safety smart. And that's a look twice. Give a listen, buckle up. You're misbehaving. Better be safety smart fast. Yeah. get us here on time. He's gonna make a fine king, don't you think, Timon? I sure do. These things always get me so choked up. <laughs> do you have a tissue, pal? <laughs> that wasn't a tissue, Timon. That was my tail. Oh, great. Oh, hey, Pumba. Tell me more about that uh, safety smart compass we were using, will you? You mean the UL-tested, certified, calibrated, verified, energy-efficient, electromagnetic compatible, fire and flame resistant, bulletproof, traceable, reliable, implosion and explosion protected, claims validated, durable, quality check, waterproof, intrinsically safe, brain tight, suitable for depths up to 300 meters, lunar, light, weight, portable, and safe compass? Uh, yeah, that one. All right, Pumba. The park's gonna open up any minute now. Oh, Timon, do you want to have a good time today? No. I want to come to the happiest place on Earth and be miserable. Of course I do. Well, to have the best time at a theme park. It's important to be safety smart. The first point on our safety smart compass is to slow down. All right, pal. I can do that. Now, while waiting for our turn, we should always use good manners, which means to make sure we never push or cut. Our next safety smart point is to pay attention. <laughs> I'm all ears, pal. When we're in the park, we need to pay attention to where our adult or group is, so our parents don't get lost. Timon, come on, we're moving. That's our next safety smart point. Don't distract. That means don't get distracted or distract others, like the ride operators. 
got it. And when it's our turn to get on the ride, our last safety spot point is to use proper equipment. I know what that means. Use seat belts, lap bars, or over-the-shoulder restraints properly. Also, hold on to all your belongings, never stand, and remain seated while the ride is moving. And keep your arms and legs inside at all times. Theme parks are so much fun, but they're a lot more fun when we're safety smart about it. And safety smart means slow down. Pay attention, don't distract, and use proper equipment. That's right, Timon. So, are you ready? Are you kidding? Then let's go have some fun. Here we go! Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact! Beautiful day for a dip in the old watering hole. Right, pal? Yes, it is, Timon. And I was thinking, what better way to get there than to ride our bikes? Oh, that's a great idea, and whenever we ride bikes or skateboards, it's important to be safety smart about it. Naturally. And the first safety smart point is use proper equipment. That means wearing a helmet that fits. Hey, which in your case is a double extra large. <laughs> when riding a bicycle, scooter, or skateboard, always use a helmet with the strap securely fastened. A helmet can protect your head and your brain. And you only get one head and brain. It's also a good idea to wear protective padding, brightly colored clothing, to help others see you. And when you're on a bike or motor scooter, pay attention to all traffic signs and signals, just like if you were in a car. Which brings us to another point, paying attention. Oh, sure. But pay attention to what? If there isn't a bike lane, always stay close to the side of the road and ride in the same direction as traffic. And Timon, don't get distracted. Aha! There it is, Pumba! Come on! Hurry! Come on, watch out! Whoa. <laughs> See, Timon, you weren't paying attention, and you didn't follow our final safety smart point, and that's slow down! Pumba, I was excited! But we have to remember to be safety smart! When you're right, you're right, pal! Hey, are you ready for that swim now? Sure am. Here we go. Last one in smells like a rotten ostrich egg, which just so happens to be a natural scent. Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, then you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact. Could you please tell me where we're going, Pumba? I can now. We're going to the other side of the lake today. Oh, let's take the kayak. Watch out. What? <laughs> Timon traveling by boat and other watercraft can be fun. That's why I brought along our safety smart compass. And the first point is to slow down. <laughs> Great. Now you tell me. Which brings us to another point. To use proper equipment, you should always use a life jacket or life preserver that is U.S. Coast Guard approved and U.L. listed. I still don't understand why we have to wear these. Because, Timon, we have to use proper equipment, remember? On smaller boats, we have to wear our life jackets. They're like water wings and will keep us afloat if we fall in. And on larger boats, life jackets are already on board. But how do we know where to find them? Oh, that's a great question, which also leads us to our next safety point, and that's to pay attention. That means to pay attention to any safety announcements from the captain or crew, such as the location of the life jackets. Yes, sir. Aye, aye. And the last safety smart point is don't distract. That means don't distract others while they're operating their watercraft. Hey, looking good out there. Come on. Uh, oops. Now remember, slow down, pay attention, use proper equipment, and don't distract. So if we're not going on the ferry, what are we taking? I thought we needed something a little faster. Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact! Hey, 
You look very nice, Pumba. Thank you, Timon. It's quite an honor to be asked to be a guest teacher at a safety smart class. Oh, but the school is all the way across the jungle and a little too far to hoof it. We should take the bus. Great idea. You know, Timon, there are important safety smart points to follow when traveling by bus. And our first safety smart point is pay attention. That means pay attention to where you're standing when the bus arrives and back up from the street or platform as it pulls up. Whoa, I agree. That's right. It's not safety smart to chase after a bus or cross in front or behind one. Oh, here comes the bus. Come on, Papa, hurry. And slow down. That means wait for those who are on the bus to get off before you try to get on. Great. Now you tell me. Let's see if we can find a seat. If we can't, it's a good idea to hold on tightly to a safety rail. <laughs> hey, Timon, a seat just opened up next to me. Gee, I wonder why. Another important safety smart point is don't distract. In a car or bus, there's lots of things that can distract the driver, like if you're fighting or arguing, misbehaving or playing loud music, and we also want to be respectful of the other passengers by not disturbing them. Here we are, Pumba. Yes, sir. You know, I think we could add bus safety to our list of topics to speak to the class about. I was just thinking the same thing. Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact. Now I'll just grab us a cab, and we'll scoot down to Pride Rock in no time. Ah, that's a good idea, Timon. Hey, taxi! I think it's a good time to review some safety smart points for automobile travel. Pride Rock, please. Seatbelt, Timon. Yeah, what about it, pal? You need to put it on. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm fine. Well, you would be, had you followed our compass's third safety smart point, use proper equipment in a car. Proper equipment means to always fasten your seatbelt. See how that baby is in a car seat? I think I'm a little big for that. You are, but you still need to be in a booster seat. Being in a booster seat will make sure that your seatbelt works properly. So once we're all boosted and buckled, then what? Our next safety smart point is don't distract. Anything like that will distract the driver, and that could lead to an accident. That means no fighting, throwing things, yelling, or even playing too wildly. I got it. Anything else? Another good safety point is to pay attention. Pay attention to make sure the car comes to a complete stop and is parked before you unbuckle. And one more thing, Timon, slow down. And also check you have everything you need. Yep, sure do. Use proper equipment, don't distract, pay attention, and slow down. That's right. And that's also being safety smart. Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact. Timon, I'm hungry. Whoa, look at all these motorcycles and scooters. They're quite nice. Motorcycles and scooters can be a great way to get around if you always remember to follow our safety smart points. Well, rev them up, pal. The first point on our safety smart compass is to use proper equipment. That means a helmet. When riding a bicycle, scooter, or skateboard, always use a helmet with the strap securely fastened. A helmet can protect your head and your brain, and you only get one head and brain. It's also a good idea to wear protective padding, brightly colored clothing to help others see you. And when you're on a bike or motor scooter, pay attention to all traffic signs and signals, just like if you were in a car. 
I never thought of that. That's why it's so important to pay attention. And because motorcycles and scooters can be hard for others to see, when riding one, you have to pay careful attention to vehicles around you. Another important safety smart point is don't distract. When you're the passenger, you never want to do anything that's going to distract the driver. Yeah, sure. Wow, this one looks really fast. The last safety smart point is slow down. Motorcycles are smaller than cars and can avoid traffic. When we don't slow down and take our time, we put ourselves in danger. Always use proper equipment, pay attention, don't distract, and slow down! I just want to see what it's like to touch one. Be careful! Oh, you had to touch it, didn't you? Oops. Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact! Pombo, there's a diner. I'm gonna order the sautéed centipedes. Oh, sounds good. I'm gonna have my favorite, the mushrooms and barked mud pie. Hey, let's hurry. Come on, wait! Huh? <laughs> we were so excited to eat, we almost forgot our first safety smart point. Pay attention. Something you especially need to do as a pedestrian. I'm not a pedestrian. I'm 100% meerkat. No, Timon! A pedestrian is a word that describes someone who travels by walking. And paying attention means looking both ways before crossing the street. Wanna guess what's next? Hey! Slow down! You're right. Our next safety smart point is to slow down so you won't put yourself or others in danger. And take the time to walk to a crosswalk or intersection and then cross there. Young children should always cross the street with an adult or a crossing guard. Oh, here comes our food. Uh, are you finished? No. Another important safety smart point is to use proper equipment. Always wear something on our feet for protection. And at night, wear bright or reflective clothing to help vehicles see us better. Did you see that? Yeah. When we're walking, we don't want to distract others, but we especially don't want to distract ourselves by texting or playing games. Ah, all finished. Yep, with my lunch and my safety smart points. Uh, so what do you say we become pedestrians and take a nice walk home? Hit it, Pumba. Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact. Ah, oh, oh boy, Pumba. I can't wait to be on vacation. Oh, I know. And remember, when traveling by plane, we need to follow some very important safety smart points. Lay them on me, pal. Okay, the first point on our safety smart compass is to use proper equipment. Very good, Timon. We should always keep our seat belts fastened. That way, if we ever hit any bumpy air, we'll still be kept secure. Uh-huh. Alrighty, check and check. Oh, but remember safety smart point number two. We have to pay attention. On an airplane, it's important to always listen carefully to what the captain or flight attendants have to say. We also need to pay attention to when it's okay to use our electronic devices, such as computers, games, and tablets. Boop, 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 boop. Mission control, come in, please. Come on, what are you doing? I'm just playing with these buttons. That can be distracting. Oops. Don't distract is another important safety point. We never want to do anything that will distract the flight attendants or pilots from doing their job. Yeah, I know, but I'm just so excited to get there. Which brings up our last safety smart point. Slow down. That means when we pull into the gate, take your time. Pay attention for the announcement that it's safe to unbuckle your seatbelt and make sure you gather all your belongings. Yeah, I'd hate to leave anything behind. That's right. And then slow down and wait your turn before you try to exit the plane. And you know what, Pumba? I think I'll just sit quietly and enjoy the view. That's a good idea, Timon. 
this and all the days ahead. Hope to do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact! Two tickets to Pride Rock, please. Now, Timon, since we don't normally take the train, let's make sure we do it safety smart. Oh, uh, yeah. Wouldn't have it any other way. The first safety smart point is don't distract. But I'm almost at the last level of my game. It doesn't matter, Timon. You need to pay attention. Hey, good point, Pumba. We're gonna pay attention. It's important to pay attention as the train approaches. Make sure you stand in a safe place away from the platform edge. All right, pal. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna rush to the door so I can be the first one on. No, you're going to follow our next safety smart point, which is to slow down. Got it. Slow down. When the train pulls up, we should wait in a polite way and not push or crowd the doors. That can be dangerous. Once we're on the train, our last safety smart point is to use proper equipment. What equipment is that? That means to take a seat if there's one available. And if there aren't any seats available, we'll need to hold on to the safety posts or rails. And we also need to pay attention to any announcements in case of an emergency. Oh, here comes the train! All right, let's see. Uh, don't distract, slow down, pay attention, use proper equipment. I think I got it. And that's the safety smart way to ride a train. Hey, good point, Pumba. And you know why I'm gonna follow them all? Oh, why is that, Timon? Because you trained me well. <laughs> you get it, train? You see what I did? Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Yes, in all the days ahead, hope you do just what we said. Slow down, pay attention, use equipment, don't distract, and you'll be safety smart. Now that's a fact! <laughs> 